Hello and welcome Sagittarius to your month of April card reading. So I have some main energies that I pulled here and it's going to give you a general timeline for the month of April. So each card represents about a week-ish in April um, and then we have clarifying cards to give us just a little more insight into these main energies. We're then going to go even deeper into a personal love reading, an abundance reading, and a career life purpose success reading. Then we are going to end with answering a question of yours. So if you have any, if you have one particular question you're thinking of now, or if one arises throughout the reading, then wait till the end. I'm going to have it bring or have you bring it to the top of your mind, and we're going to pull some angel answers cards for you. Okay. So with all that being said, if you are brand new to my channel, thank you for checking this out. My name is Rachel. I'm the owner of Reiki with Rachel where I specialize in distance energy healing, working with people all over the world. I have two housekeeping items, two announcements, just to make you aware of, and then we'll get started quickly on your reading. The first is I am collaborating with a very good friend of mine, David Cohen, and we are going to do a webinar that's going to be free, and it's on April 2nd, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And this is kickstarting our weekly shift program where we're really examining our belief systems. It's a very supportive kind of group. It's examining your belief systems, um, examining energy patterns, habits. It's really like a mind, body, and spirit transformation so we can kind of emerge and transition into our true selves and get rid of, on a soul and core level, anything that doesn't serve us. So the link to reserve your spot is below. It's completely free, April 2nd, 7 p.m. The second announcement is I put together this really cool moon cycle package where we do a new moon extensive card reading, a full new moon uh, energy healing and intention setting session. Then we do the same for the full moon. So an extensive full moon reading and an extensive full moon energy clearing and manifesting session. So all of that is in a package. I'm asking for an energy donation of $5. If you're interested, you can click below and get access to that all immediately to help guide you along with some of these energies this month. Okay, so let's get started on your reading. You, Sagittarius, got started with the world card. Your world is shifting in the beginning of April. There is a huge shift transition within you that's going to be extending out. And this is the beginning of it. So there is something happening. You know, we just came out of that Mercury retrograde. And there is something happening the beginning of April that is really going to be a pivotal moment, not only for the rest of this month, but for months to come, possibly years to come. So I want to show you the clarifying card that came out. Healer of the ages. This is a healing opportunity. I'm really feeling like the first, the beginning part of April, maybe around that new moon where you're setting your intentions. You want to focus on going within. You want to focus on healing. I, you know, getting an energy healing, acupuncture, Reiki, getting a massage, going deep into meditation, just giving yourself some time to heal any core wounds, any belief systems, anything that you've been carrying in your life, within you, within your mind, body, and spirit up until this point. And it is a time to release those. And as you do, you open yourself up. It's almost like you're going through this intense healing. And I don't want to make this sound scary. Like, this is amazing. This is wonderful. You're going through it so that you're ready for whatever is next in your life. But the universe, the cards, who the universe and source is speaking through, wants to remind you that... In order to take these next steps, whatever they may be for you, you really want to get yourself to a place where you're ready, 
where you're mentally ready to proceed in joy and feeling as if you deserve and being happy and balanced. So take advantage of any healing opportunities the first week-ish of April. They are going to be huge. They're going to be life-changing. Okay, Woo, what a way to start off the, uh, the month, right? Okay, so let's move now to the second week. The second week, the two cards that came out for you are the Empress in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. Both of these are talking about not really being sure. You're not really sure where you're going yet, but you're figuring it out. The cards can also carry a very stuck a very stagnant energy, an ego where you, or, 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 uh, energy where you're stuck in your ego. <laughs> that word wanted to come out. <laughs> you're wanting to watch out for your ego during this time. So around the second week, after some healing, okay, in the first week, around the second week, you are going to have a contrasting energy, and you can go one of two ways. You can allow the energy to make you feel stuck, to make you feel defeated, to make you feel just like things are not going to work out, like shit hasn't worked out and it's not going to work out in the future. So that's one way you can go. The second way that this energy can take you is one of inner reflection, of examining what you truly value, examining who you truly are, what you want to do. So the, you know, whenever we deal with these energies that might make us slip back into old habits, it's always an opportunity to choose a new path. And once you choose that new path of inner reflection, of like maybe even focusing on personal victories, like maybe you don't see anything manifesting in your life yet, but have you done anything personally that you can celebrate? You can say, well, wow, like, Look at how far I've come. Look at what I'm working on. Look at the effort that I'm putting into myself, to my own healing. Once you shift your focus onto these personal victories and to examining yourself, contemplating what you truly want, who you truly are in a deep soul level, then that really shifts the energy completely for you. So it's not like, it's not like if you don't do that, something bad's going to happen. You're just going to stay where you are. Okay, so if you choose to be in a mental pattern of I feel stuck, then, then you, just, you just stay where you are. If you choose to take that energy and use it to your benefit and use it for contemplation and, for, and, and, and shift the energy so that it begins to be more forward moving, then you see a much quicker prog progression of where you want to go. So I want to show you the clarifying card that came out, whoopsie, also for you. And this very much supports these cards. Archangel Gabriel, who is your throat chakra? Now, Archangel Gabriel card came in reverse, meaning that there is... Meaning that you are at a time where you are getting very clear and honest with yourself. You might want to do some throat chakra work whenever you go through this healing, because it's going to make this next stage a lot smoother. So whenever you have a balanced throat chakra, you are able to know your own truth. What is truthful for you? You are then able to have confidence to bring that truth into this world. And this doesn't have to be speaking. This can be through your actions, through your writing, But you're getting to a place, or you can get to a place, if you really capitalize on this energy, where you know who you are, you know what you want, you know the truth on a deep level, and you're ready, you're getting ready to bring that to the world in some way. So the energies for the beginning of the month are just preparing you for that. Hmm, you know, last month I do remember it was a lot about your own empowerment. And this is kind of taking that to, it's piggybacking on that energy. It's taking it to another level. Let's see what the third-ish week has to say. The strength card and the death card. The strength card is feeling 
Oh my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> the strength card is feeling disempowered. I just said, I just spoke of feeling empowered. The strength card is feeling disempowered, but it came out with the death card, which means whatever is making you feel disempowered, feel stuck and stagnant around the third week, around the full moon, actually, it's you'll be releasing this. So the death card indicates uh, the letting go of something, but often the death card indicates letting go of something on a very internal level. So these are internal patterns. And paired with a card of a lot of disempowerment, I'm feeling like what you're letting go of, once you actually release it, then you're able to find your strength, your inner strength, your inner empowerment. So I want to show you the clarifying cards. The first one is caring connections. So this could be several things. Allowing, I hear allowing those in your life to help you. Allowing those in your life to be a support for you. And being empowered, allowing your relationships to empower you rather than bring you down or rather than having conflict or fighting against relationships in your life. What aspects about them can empower you. And if a relationship does not empower you, then what needs to be done about it? What needs to be let go of? So I'm also feeling like this is a transformation. The death card is about transformation. It's not a scary card. It's more like if you think of it, like just think of a butterfly, right? Like it's transforming into something new and beautiful. So you might see a deeper, as you step into your own empowerment, you might see your relationships, business partnerships, uh, romantic relationships, relationships with friends and family transforming for the better as well. So don't, I'm, I'm almost feeling like don't be overly concerned with what others are doing right now. Trust that as you go through this process of transforming yourself, the relationships that you have with others are going to transform. I just also heard that there could be new collaborations, new partnerships coming in. So relationships, I'm, I'm feeling like the relationships in your life could serve you at this time and anything that's not serving you is going to either fall away naturally or it's going to be transformed because you're stepping into you're stepping into your empowerment. The second card that came out was patience. So this is a process. This is the energy for the third week. But it's an energy that might take some time. So be patient with yourself. Be patient as you watch these energies just unfold in your life. Okay, so let's now move on to the final card. And this is the Justice card. This is talking about what you put in, you get out. This is talking about fairness. This is talking about balance. This is talking about what you do this month, what you do with the energies that are presented to you determines how the rest of the month plays out. It is 100% up to you. This is not like a final outcome card. This is not a definite like, this is what's going to happen. This is a very, very open-ended card. If you put healing energy, positive energy, optimistic energy into what you were doing this month, that is what you will get back. If you put more like defeated energy or frustrated energy into what you do this month, that's what you'll get back. It's just, it's like karma. You know, karma is always fair. We don't always like karma. We don't like to think that we create things that happen to us, but we create the good things that happen to us. And whenever we create a lot of, uh, or in a low vibration, and you see an outcome of that, then 
you know, that's, that's how karma works. That's also created. Like Abraham Hicks always talks about like, you know, when you see something good, you say, I did that. And when something happens, it's not so good. You're like, okay, I did that. And it's not at all saying that you deserve anything bad to happen to you. All this card is saying is what you do this month is going to 100% determine what happens at the end of the month. Like it's almost, I just got this visual of a fork in the road and you can go one of two ways. You can go the way that you've been going and, and it's really just gonna keep you where you are. It's not like anything terrible is gonna happen. Or you can shift. You can choose to shift on a very core level and as you do, trust that these shifts will be paid back to you. The energy that you put into things will be given back to you, but it's not immediate. You know, whenever you think of justice, when you think of karma, it's like a boomerang. When you first throw the boomerang, it doesn't immediately come back, but it does come back eventually. All of the energies going on this entire month are coming back to you. And the clarifying card that we got was the world card. This is talking about a bigger picture. Also what I'm feeling like is talking about like the connection between everything, how we are all one, we're all unified. What, it's like the butterfly effect. There's a big picture going on. What you do to heal yourself changes those around you. You got that, how it, we were talking about the relationships. It changes those around you on a vibrational level, on a core level. They might not even realize it. It changes everybody you interact with. And then because they are shifted by your energy, then they go ahead and they shift others. And that's how you create change. There's a bigger picture that you cannot see. And you are powerful, Sagittarius. You are powerful. It's, you know, really just continuing to step back in to that power, recognizing that you will probably not see things immediately. Like you're, it's not like you're going to have one great day where you're, you done a huge, you did a huge healing and you're feeling good. And then the next day you're like, why am I not a millionaire? You know, it's not going to be quick but it's going to be, it's not going to be super slow either. Like it's going to be a progression throughout the month and each little step that you make towards the direction that you want to go either internally or externally is having an effect. It's having an impact not only on you, but on people that you don't even know personally just because of that butterfly effect. And that's powerful. Okay, so let's get now into your more personal reading, starting with a love reading. All right, so love life, this is talking about if you're in a relationship, if you're single, even if you're in a happy marriage of 30 years, how you can deepen that relationship, how you can open yourself up to a relationship. If you're having questions or problems in a relationship, what's, go what's the energy that's either going to help or hurt it this month? And... The first card that came up was stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So again, it's like, I feel like this is just a month of karma for you. It's like staying optimistic about your love life if you're single or if you're in a relationship will have a really big impact throughout the course of this month. You might be seeing, like you might see if you hold this energy partnerships change. You might see like, I don't know, more people checking out your Tinder or Bumble or whatever you're on. <laughs> like you just might see, or just like weird encounters where you like just meet and flirt with people. Like you're going to see as you hold this energy of optimism, how it comes back to you. And so I'm like, I've been out of the dating game for a really long time. So I actually never was on Tinder or Bumble. I think they're both still around. <laughs> But I just gave, I had to give that disclaimer in case I sound like a, a fool. <laughs> okay, the second card that you got is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So if you are single and you, you might have had like the one that got away, that could be reconciling. If you're in a relationship and there's been just some like low vibrational energies, the more you really go through this healing process, you're going to have an opportunity to heal this relationship. And of course, you know, your partner's energy has a lot to do with it as well, but this is a month for reconciliation. 
So stay optimistic about that. If you're happy in your relationship, then staying optimistic can reconcile like the little things that might irritate you or it could even like take your relationship to a new deeper level. So overall, this is pretty good. Like it fares well for connections with those who you love. Just knowing that you're worthy of love and deserving of love and coming from that place. Okay, so let's get in now to your career life purpose. This could be a business, creative ventures. Maybe if you're wanting to start something but you're not knowing where you're going, which I kind of feel like from this spread, we're gonna be figuring this out more and more this month. Um, but this also can be like volunteer work, stay-at-home parent, whatever you feel like your purpose is or whatever you're wanting to find out about your purpose. The cards will help answer this. And the first card, ooh, the first card that we got was Pay attention to your dreams. You are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. It might be a good idea to keep a dream journal. What I'm feeling like is after, like, let's say you go and get a massage or a Reiki session or some sort of healing journal immediately after any intuitions you got, after you meditate, Write them down. You're getting divine guidance. As you go through this healing, your intuition is going to be opening up more and more, and you're going to get your next steps in very subtle ways. Second card that came out for you for your life purpose is sensitivity. Your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. So again, it's not allowing yourself to get sucked in to not feeling great or to feeling stuck, but how can you use this? How can you channel these emotions into something? So our, our second chakra, our sacral chakra, is the place where we hold all of our emotions, but it's also the place that we hold our creativity. So if you're dealing with just a lot of emotions as you're going through this healing process, an amazing way to help channel them, to help heal them, is to put it into something creative. Because once we have these negative emotions in our, sac in our sacral chakra, then a lot of times they just kind of get stuck there and they, they stir around and they just create these feelings of like, oh, you know, I don't feel good and I don't like this, but there's nothing I can do. When the cards are saying those are actually going to work to your benefit because you can get them out. You can get them unstuck by putting all of this energy into something creative. And it doesn't even have to be like, you don't even have to know what it is. It doesn't have to be something that's like aligned with what your job is or what you want your business to be. It can be something completely different. Just be creative, just be free with it because this is not only gonna help your healing, but what you do, what the cards are saying are these things that you channel this energy into are going to manifest and they are going to get you to what your life purpose is. It's just like this journey, it's just this road. And it's just another opportunity where you have a choice. The last card was writer's group. Create or join a writer's group to gain inspiration, friendship, or support. We got a lot of cards kind of saying that you're going through some stuff, but relationships are going to, they can help you. So if you feel like the relationships in your life, like you don't have... A, a strong support system, then the cards are saying surround yourself with those who motivate you. Surround yourself with, with people who uplift you, who feed your soul. And this is going to help with your career. It can just help inspire you, but I'm feeling like for some, you might meet people who you end up working with or collaborating with. And again, like I'm just feeling like things are going to come from unexpected places. So be open. And if there is anything in particular that you're, you're thinking, any group or any group of people who you want to align with, it's a good month to be around them. You just want to be around people who support you, who motivate you, who inspire you. Okay, so let's move now on to your abundance reading. 
So the very first card that came out for your abundance was the very first card that came out for your career and life purpose dreams of abundance. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a really clear message if I've ever heard one. This card says, as you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So I guess I don't really need to speak about that again, but this has been doubly emphasized. So I'd really start to journal, pay attention to your dreams, your insights during meditations throughout your day. You're going to be getting some guidance. The second card is deservingness. So this is an underlying healing that is going on. That's going to increase your abundance. Says you are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. You're wanting to just get to a place where you know you deserve, where you feel worthy. And if you have to reaffirm 500 times a day, I am worthy. I love myself and I am worthy of abundance. I am worthy of happiness. I am worthy of joy. I am worthy of a fulfill fulfillment. If you had to do that over and over and over again, then that's channeling. That's shifting this energy. And it goes out to the universe and it attracts abundance. And then the last card we got no more complaining. It says complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never truly spiritual. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. I'm going to read that again to you because Sagittarius, you are a sign who loves freedom. And I think that message was for you. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. It could be another affirmation that goes along with your deservingness. I have an abundance of choices and freedom. I have an abundance of choices and freedom. I have an abundance of choices and freedom. When you feel stuck, when you feel stagnant, affirm, I have an abundance of choices and freedom. And again, that shifts the energy and it helps you align with those choices and freedom. The card continues to say, with your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. These cards are just giving you tools to navigate through the energies that we talked about. It's a month to be diligent about where your energy is going. A complaint is just an affirmation for something that you don't want. I'll read this affirmation to you one more time. Maybe you can write it down if you have a pen and you're not driving. <laughs> you want to affirm. I affirm that I have an abundance of choices and freedom. Anytime you feel stuck, I affirm that I have an abundance of choices and freedom. And that is shifting into an abundance of choices and freedom into a new lifestyle. Okay, this is an optimistic reading. And we're going to end now with one question. So I want you to ask one question. Bring it to the top of your mind. When you're ready. I'm going to give you your angel answer. Okay, ready? Yes. Exclamation point. So these, these cards have just a regular S. Yes, sorry, I have a regular yes, and then they have a yes! <laughs> so this is a strong yes. Now this card came out, it like flew out. And then I asked if there's anything else. And so this card did not come out with a mu as much force, but it says within the next few months. So that can be speaking to some of you. That can also be saying that things are unfolding. And so much of it really just depends on the energy that you put into it. 
So you might see it sooner, you might see it later, but whatever the, the question was, you got confirmation on it. Okay, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you do, or if you are interested in that webinar or in the Moon Package Cycle, the links to those are below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm wishing a beautiful month full of transformation. So much love to you, Sagittarius.